the temperature of a person of mass 60 kilograms falls from 37.2 degrees Celsius to 36.7 degrees Celsius. Calculate the thermal energy lost from the body. The average specific heat capacity of the body is 4,000 joules per kilogram times degrees Celsius. This question is very important because it combines the idea of specific heat capacity with the idea of specific latent heat of fusion in one question. As usual, let's collect our givens and what is requested. We have the mass 60 kilograms. This body will cool from 37.2 to 36.7. This means that the change in temperature is 37.2 minus 36.7. This is 0.5 degrees Celsius. You have also the specific heat capacity C, which is 4,000 joules per kilograms dot degrees Celsius. And he's asking for thermal energy. Thermal energy is Q. Actually, point A of this question belongs to the previous lesson, specific heat capacity. Since C equals Q divided by M delta T, and we need Q, the quantity of thermal energy lost by the body to cool down. This equals MC delta T, which is 60 times 4000 times 0.5. This will give the thermal energy lost 1.2 times 10 power 5 joules. Question B. The cooling of the body was entirely due to the evaporation of sweat. Calculate the mass of sweat, which evaporated. The specific latent heat of vaporization of sweat is 2.4 times 10 power 6 joules per kilograms. Okay, you need to understand the idea of the question. There are two processes that are happening here. The cool down of the body, and this is due to the evaporation of sweat, which is of course water. This means that the thermal energy lost by the body to cool down is gained by sweat to evaporate. This means that Q, which is the thermal energy, is the same in both A and B of the question. So, Let's see the givens in this question. We have 2.4 times 10 power 6 joules per kilogram. This is the specific latent heat of vaporization of sweat, LV. You also have another given. You have the Q, which is the quantity of thermal energy or the quantity of heat energy. This is calculated from point A. And we said they are the same. The energy lost by the body to cool down and the energy gained by the sweat to evaporate. And he's asking for the mass. We will use the rule of the specific latent heat of vaporization, Q divided by M. LV equals Q divided by M. So by a small modification, M will equal Q divided by LV. Q, which is from the previous question A, 1.2 times 10 power 5 joules divided by 2.4 times 10 power 6 joules per kilograms. This shows that the mass of sweat that evaporates to cool the body from 37.2 to 36.7, this equals 0.05 kilograms. This is a new idea and need to be studied very well.